Let us pray. Father in heaven, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you. Truly, you are a faithful Yes. Thank you for preservation. Father, thank you for sustaining us. Lord, we just appreciate you. Because, Lord, without you, how would we have witnessed a day such as this? A day of power. A day, Father in heaven, that you have dedicated, O oh Lord, to touch us anew. A day of glory, a day of advancement. A day that is full of everything heavenly. Lord, we just bless your name. We are full of expectations today. Father, I pray, Lord, because it is you that have ordained this day. Every plan and purpose for which, oh Lord, you have dedicated this day. None of your children shall miss out. Yeah. In the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Father in heaven, we come up, up to you, not unto any human being. Therefore, we say, Father, have your way in our midst. Yeah. Holy Spirit, we know you are already here today and you are going to do that which you have been sent to do. So we welcome you in our midst this morning. Yeah. And we say, take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Yeah. In the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Father, come with us. Amen. Be with us. Amen. Guide us. Amen. Support us. Amen. Encourage us. Amen. Teach us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of today's service, Father, Amen. let there be a glorious testimony. Amen. Father, I say at the end of today, Amen. let there be glorious testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, move us on. Amen. Power us on. And be our God. Amen. Now I sanctify the forefathers of this temple with the blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I lock out every spirit of infirmity, every contrary spirit. I lock them out of this tabernacle. Every contending spirit. I lock them out of this tabernacle. I say today, even if by any means or reason they have smuggled themselves in here, right now, get out of this place. It is a holy ground. Father in heaven, I sanctify this ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be according to your will. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I humble myself in the presence of God this morning. And I just want to say a very big thank you to each and every one of you for holding fast, for holding firm, and for standing by the side of the Almighty God. He will never disappoint you. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will never disappoint you. I say unto you, children of God, as the Lord commanded me, I obeyed him. And he said to me, like I said at the night video on Friday, all your supplications are answered. Yeah. I'm saying to you, without a shadow of doubt, yeah. all your supplications are already answered. Yeah. If you agree with me, shout a loud hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, because I put a few things down. I stand here on the altar of the Almighty God. I never opened one single of one single one of your prayer uh, requests, but the Lord ministered to me concerning many of those prayer requests. Mm. He gave me specific instructions, mm. and I put them down at every point. Oh, yes. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. He said the person cried unto the Lord, Father, let the storm end. Mm. God asked me to tell you, I have sealed it in. Yeah. Oh, yes. The storm is over. Yeah. Yeah. That he said all that you did was to thank him. Mm. God says, as an evidence of my appreciation, I will move you and your house to the mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -uh, somebody, your own request was healing. The Lord said, I've had you. You are healed. Yeah. And he said, someone asked for a greater revelation of himself in their life. God says, I shall do that one to you. Yeah. And he said, for another, you asked him to prove to you that you are not alone. God says, I will abide by you all. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. And matters concerning fruitfulness, the Lord asked me to tell you, they are settled. Yeah. God says, I, who can bring children out as I desire, 
I will give you your home in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I should tell someone, worry not over your son. The Red Sea wanted to resist the children of Israel but failed. I will remove everything that has been resisting his relocation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody desired healing for a member of their family. God says, when next you see them, ask, they will tell you, healing has already taken place. Hey, God asked me to tell you, businesses have been restored back to life. And new ideas shall begin to flow. For a family, the setback, God says, was meant to ridicule me. But I allowed it to show them that I can never be ridiculed. He says, be at peace. Be at peace. As many as desire their settlement, children of God. The Lord says, I guarantee you. He says, I will help you. He says, I will sit on your table. It is already settled. In the name of Jesus. Children of God. Somebody, you have a test ahead. God says you will pass out. The Spirit of God is going to descend mightily on somebody this morning. You will begin to operate at a level you never believe you will reach. Go before the Lord. Lord, I surrender myself unto you. And pick out that which applies to you. I will still talk to people individually. Because even as I stand here, God is revealing certain things unto me. It's going to be a powerful day today. Stay connected. Stay connected. Look at Acts of Apostles chapter 13. I'll just be very, very brief. If you read verses 6 to 12, Paul was preaching to a governor and his sorcerer was trying to hinder him. This kind of new anointing, they become so strong, not just strong, they become very aggressive. Why do you think new wine, old bottle cannot accommodate new wine? If you put new wine inside an old bottle, the new wine will assert its own authority. The bottle, old bottle will break. I say every yoke in your life, this new anointing, it will break them down. It will break them down. It will bring them down in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand, children of God, we are not playing to the gallery. I've been very, very restless since I came back because I know what God is going to do. Hallelujah. I know what God is going to do. For 21 days that I was there on the prayer mountain, one Sunday, just last Sunday, something happened. Because he said, oh, talk about this dress. I will talk about this one. It's a gift. And there are two. I will wear the second one very soon too. Hallelujah. <laughs> what happened? I conducted a service just about this time on Sunday. And a little girl was brought in, into my presence. About eight year old girl. She has never talked in her life. There is anointing of God upon your life. There are certain things you will do you won't even believe that is possible. All I did was just to pray a simple prayer for her. I was believing God that yes, God will do something wonderful in her life but I didn't know it would be instant. I laid hands on this young, young girl. She had never talked in her life. And I pray in Jesus' mighty name. The girl said, Amen. She said, Amen. Child of God, my God is awesome. She said, Amen. And the mother had, the mother was rolling on the ground. And the girl said, Mama, you know, Shelley, Mama, what happened? For eight, nine years or ten, she never spoke a word. As you are sitting here, say, anointing God upon me. Anointing God upon me. Anointing God upon me. People will see what you are 
The young man doubted. But you see, the bone started getting strength. Gradually. I can imagine even Peter himself thinking, all I want is just for this man to stand up. That uh, leaping and jumping, he must have been a bonus. Just him standing alone would have been enough for Peter. But the man did not just stand. He started. He started running. He started leaping. He started jumping. Everything they say is stagnant in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, they will hear the word of God. I say they will receive the anointing of God. They will rise up. They will jump up. They will lead in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing breaks every day. Be determined today for nothing whatsoever to hinder you anymore. I am believing God who are giving this instruction. What the challenges might be. Because you see, the enemies, they don't want to, they don't give up easily. But I say to you, it's season refreshing for you. From today, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. That those that are blocking your way, you will decree and they will be moved. Because that fresh anointing will not only be strong, it will be very aggressive. It will be merciless. Hallelujah. People of God, I am believing God. Even if you think there is apparent defeat in your life, God will change that story. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said God will change that story. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you see, this new anointing is very dynamic. It's a dynamic. It's, it's, it can never be contained. Hallelujah. It can never be contained. So anywhere you go, the anointing will work for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is very pushy. Ephesians 5 verse 18. The Bible says, be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. So the Bible is trying to describe somebody filled with the Holy Spirit with another who is drunk. He can move anyhow, anytime, and destroy anything that wants to obstruct you. And so shall it work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. I say in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. From today onwards, the Holy Spirit will dwell with you. Every day of your life, I said the Holy Spirit of God will dwell with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. People of God. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. And it's a new anointing. A new anointing is like a new baby. It has the potential to grow. It may be small at the beginning. But it can grow. If you read Acts of Apostles chapter 5, just read verses 14 to, uh, 14 to 16. It has potential to develop. It has potential to grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For somebody and for every one of us today, Amen. nobody will gather for sorrow in your heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that plans to bring sorrow into your life, I decree in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They themselves, they will reap the fruits of sorrow. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray some very aggressive prayers on Friday. Against death prematurely or whatsoever. You shall not lose any. Yeah. Any member of your household, you shall not lose. Yeah. So just pray that prayer right now. And say, Lord, I will not lose any member of my family. I will not, I will not cry over any of my family members. I shall not be cried over. No one will cry over me.
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Before we proceed to the anointing problem. He was taken up. Uh -huh. Then Elisha returned to the bank of the Jordan River. He now went to Jordan River. Yes. He struck the water with Elijah's club and cried out. With that mantle, he struck the Jordan River. Just as Elijah had done before, yes? Where is the Lord? He now cried. Where is the God of who? The God of Elijah. Uh -huh. Then the river divided. Uh -huh. And Elisha went across. Uh -huh. When the group of prophets from Jericho. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, man. What the anointing of God has done in my life and is doing today. I pray for each and every one of you. It will do tenfold for you. It will do tenfold for you. It will do hundredfold for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will break down barriers for you. The anointing of God that has made me fearless. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It will give you super boldness. The mantle that Elijah threw down while he was going, Elisha took it and made great use of it. He went and he said, Oh, God, if you are the God of Elijah, there's something in that sentence. You will pray. If you are the God who is the foundation of fountain of life evangelical ministry, you will say, Lord, Everything whatsoever that I desire before the end of this year, make them manifest. Pray, 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 pray. I'm not even talking about me now. I'm talking about the, the, the God who commissioned this ministry. <laughs> mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Listen, the, the, some of the sons of the prophets, they came to Elisha at some point. Look, don't you know your daddy is going to leave? <laughs> your daddy is going, we leave you alone, they were mocking him. <laughs> Elisha was telling them, mind your business. What's your business? Mind. It's me and Baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Children of God, he was firm. He was steadfast. By the time he returned, after collecting that mantle, all of them had to come down and bow before him. Hallelujah. 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 When he received that new anointing, he, he didn't have to even talk to them on the same level anymore. They came down to bow before him. I pray for you today. Because of today's new anointing upon your life, every agitation against you, they will fall down right before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will come down and beg you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil contender. They will surrender to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's prepare the children. Bring the children here. <coughs> Let's stand up. I just want to pray a simple prayer. And I'm believing God. That today's prayers the brand new evangelist come over first I want you to stretch 
Put your hands. Two ups. Evangelist Anthony. I'll pray for him like you will pray. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Once a greater anointing is upon your life, Hallelujah. contenders will want to come. They will push, they will make moves. Ask God to fortify him. For the journey ahead, ask God to fortify It is no joke. It is no joke. Ask the Lord to empower him. Ask the Lord to empower him. It is, I never planned this. But I have to obey what the Lord himself has directed. It's not about fan fear. No. This is true. This is real. And it is genuine. Ask God to 